a divine connection reimagined through engineering faith meets flight in just 36 minutes this is using advanced tri cable detachable gondola technique which is most advanced in the ropeways and what's more the stations will feature oxygen booths medical aid viewing galleries and digital ticketing blending comfort with divinity namaskar namaste welcome to bridging heights a podcast where we uncover the stories behind india's most transformative infrastructure and public private partnership projects i am your host dipika upadhyay and today we are ascending into the sacred himalayas to discuss one of india's most ambitious and talked about projects the sonprayag kedarnath ropeway in uttarakhand this project promises to redefine accessibility in one of india's holiest shrines transforming an arduous 9 hour trek into a breathtaking 36 minutes experience and to guide us through this incredible journey we have with us dr naresh bana a distinguished ppp expert in infrastructure sustainable tourism and mountain mobility projects dr bana welcome to bridging heights thank you deepika ji dr bana let's begin with the basics for our listeners who might be hearing about this for the first time what exactly is the Sonprayag Kedarnath Ropeway project and why is it being hailed as a landmark development? Deepika ji, Sonprayag Kedarnath Ropeway project is certainly a very ambitious and futuristic project. It is not just the ropeway, but it is the ropeway at a terrain and a heights which is otherwise appear insurmountable and in fragile Himalayas. So this system which connects Sonprayag which is the last motorable point to the sacred shrine of Kedarnath in Uttarakhand, India. It has been approved with an estimated cost of around 500 million dollars around 4081 crores to be precise and it's part of the larger Parvatmala Pariyojana where more than 200 ropeways are in various phases of construction around the country for serving tourism and urban mobility roles. This is using advanced tri-cable detachable gondola technique which is most advanced in the ropeways. The key features of this project are that the length is 12.9 kilometers from Son Prayag to Kedarnath and the technology as I said is 3S that is tri-cable gondola system which is having basically three ropeways two of them serve as the track and the third cable is uh, haulage cable and it has detachable gondola technique where on the stations the gondola can detach uh, from the high uh, speed moving cables and the embarkation and disembarkation of the passengers is very smooth and uh, convenient. Then uh, it's going to reduce the time as you had already mentioned from uh, many hours 8 to 9 hours to almost 30-36 minutes. The implementation is under DBFOT format which is nothing but design, build, finance, operate and transfer which is a tested format in India and uh, the private partner who has got the concession Awarded is Adani Enterprises, which are a leading uh, company in India. And uh, why it is being held as a landmark development? Because it is giving a massive boost to the connectivity of this most uh, sacred pilgrimage site. And it's also going to uplift the tourism and economy. And uh, with almost uh, 20 lakh tourists which are visiting this sacred shrine. Uh, the traffic as such is proven to be uh, substantial and uh, makes this project uh, vi bankable and viable and then it will provide all weather access and environmental benefits. Currently 
the helicopters are being used which are not so environment friendly and the uh, roads or the track which has been made if it has to be widened it is also not going to be environment friendly and then it will be susceptible to the uh, landslides and many other things but this technical endeavor if it sustains and built well i'm sure it's going to be path breaking and it symbolizes a shift in how pilgrimage mountain access and infrastructure can be reimagined in india's himalayan region which is very fragile mountain range and which blends devotion technology and economic opportunity a divine connection reimagined through engineering faith meets flight in just 36 minutes such a massive undertaking must have fascinating financial model how has this project been funded and structured under the private public private partnership framework dipika ji as i mentioned this is uh, abinisho appeared a bankable project where the massive traffic massive footfall indicates that yes the huge cost of almost half a billion dollar can not only be taken care by the developer by the concessioner themselves but they have even uh, the work has uh, attracted premium also so the uh, company the government company national highway logistics management limited uh, where i am also a subject matter expert uh, has been able to negotiate uh, a 42% uh, revenue share and uh, uh let's see how it comes up and uh, this model uh, in this case uh, 29 to uh, uh, 35 years is likely to be the concession period and the government entity uh, is not going to provide any upfront capital and as i said they are going to be sharing revenue a model of collaboration public vision powered by private execution Dr Bana the ropeway has generated immense curiosity for its scale and innovation what are some of the unique features that make this project stand out Deepika ji this project as i said is not only futuristic but it is technologically very advanced and some of the unique features are use of 3s that is tri cable gondola technology this ropeway will employ a state of the art detachable gondola system ideal for high altitude and rugged mountain terrain offering enhanced stability and higher capacity now you see how this three cable system works the two cables work as a tramway over which the gondola glides and the third cable is the haulage cable whereas at the moment it comes to a station the gondola has the mechanism to uh, separate from the ropes and come on the rails so that there is a convenient entry and exit of the passengers then we have to cater for massive passenger throughput which is currently designed at 18000 pilgrims per day that is 1800 pilgrims per hour and uh, that is going to be more than 50% the current requirement of the pilgrims to move up and then you have time reduction from 8 to 9 hours to 36 minutes and then the scale and the terrain ambition because the terrain is very fragile and uh, altitude is very high the wind speeds are very unpredictable so weather plays a most uh, uh, difficult role here and uh, the challenges are immense and i'm sure with the technology with the kind of planning which is going into it it will be surmounted there are these features together make the ropeway not just a transport link but a technological social and environmental leap for mountain region connectivity and what's more the stations will feature oxygen booths medical aid viewing galleries and digital ticketing blending comfort with divinity an engineering marvel that makes the impossible climb 
a serene, skybound experience. Dr. Mana, every mountain tells a story of struggle and triumph. What were the biggest challenges the team faced while planning and executing this ropeway? You are absolutely right. The challenge is the terrain and climate. The proposed uh, Son Prayag Kedarnath uh, ropeway is going to be facing significant challenges during planning and execution. And the first and foremost is geologically fragile terrain, as I have been saying repeatedly, and the risk of landslides. The ropeway runs through some of the steep Himalayan slopes near Kedarnathji, an area prone to landslides as such. And nearby pilgrim routes underscores the risk of construction is substantial. Environment and forest clearance, because these are very protected areas. So uh, the Kedarnath Wildlife Sanctuary has to be protected and it requires diversion of forest land over 26 hectares. An approval from National Board for Wildlife has to be obtained and uh, uh, that has been obtained which was one of the major challenge. Then there is uh, high elevation as I said it's about 3500 meters above sea level which demands complex engineering solutions, weatherproofing, resilient infrastructure and heavy logistics effort. Then we have balancing pilgrimage demand, capacity and sustainability. So you see the pilgrimage demand is uh, today about 20 lakhs annually, which keeps growing. So the planners had to ensure the ropeway could handle large loads while not overwhelming the local environment and infrastructure. Then the project was to be implemented on DBFOT format in a PPP mode and uh, that required a lot of risk on part of the private investor to be taken and uh, but the bankability and other imperatives were uh, so strong that not only the concessionaires have taken on themselves to raise finance for it but there are going to be a premium being collected by the government in form of the revenue share so these factors combined make the Son Prayag ropeway a high risk, technologically demanding and environmentally sensitive infrastructure undertaking. In the Himalayas, every challenge is steep, but determination climbs higher. Dr. Bana, given the altitude and footfall, safety must have been the central priority. What measures have been built into the system to ensure passengers' safety? Very rightly, because all such infrastructures must cater for highest level of safety and security. So, safety is at the heart of this project. It is equipped with redundant braking systems, emergency rescue protocols, and 24 7 surveillance. There are some key features which are built into the planned uh, ropeway. And I have already mentioned, let me once again uh, repeat that it will be using advanced tri cable detachable gondola that is called 3S technology, which has two fixed tracks and one haulage rope. And it offers the maximum wind stability, larger spans between the uh, towers, that means lesser number of towers are required, and enhanced reliability in mountain terrain. The design provides uh, specifically safety features such as enclosed cabins with locked doors. A passenger cannot open the door in transit and redundant braking systems which is normal plus emergency or service brakes and standby power generator sets in case of main supply failure. The root alignment and structure has been engineered to withstand terrain risks that is avalanche, rockfall, landslide zones, high wind speeds and adverse weather. Protective measures for towers 
and support stability of infrastructure have been taken and as part of the project approvals operations will only commence after statutory inspection and certification is done by the chief ropeway inspector of Uttarakhand which is following the protocol of the international level and the high capacity uh, means fewer people will be exposed to difficult trekking routes and reduced time uh, will ensure that the traffic continues to grow as envisaged. When faith travels by air, safety becomes its strongest foundation. Dr. Bana, looking ahead, what's your vision for the ropeway's broader impact on tourism, local economy, and Uttarakhand's development landscape? Very valid question. After all, when you are building such a revolutionary and technology intensive project, how it's going to impact the rest of the time and the environment? See, this will revolutionize, if I say simply, the spiritual and sustainable tourism in Uttarakhand. It represents a transformative step in Uttarakhand's approach to sustainable mountain infrastructure. Its broader impact extends beyond faster pilgrim access to Kedarnath. It is poised to reshape tourism, local livelihoods, and regional connectivity. By reducing the travel time from over 6 hours to uh, 30 minutes, the ropeway will make pilgrimage and eco uh, tourism safer, more inclusive, attracting elderly visitors and international tourists alike. The increased accessibility is expected to significantly enhance annual visitor numbers while easing congestion and environmental strains on the traditional trekking routes. Economically, the project will stimulate the local economy. Hotels, transport services, handicrafts and hospitality all are going to get a boost. Himalayan uh, communities will thrive. The PPP structure also ensures sustained private sector engagement in maintenance and service quality and then such uh, long and technology intensive ropeways will also support the local industry. You would be happy to note that India's uh, automotive industry is world class. In fact, the auto parts industry is like pharma industry which is supplying to all over the world the OEMs are purchasing from India. So those are the people who are going to get in and create the ecosystem required for ropeway uh, construction and maintenance because currently most of the European firms are leading as far as ropeways are concerned. And strategically, the ropeway aligns with Uttarakhand's vision of developing spiritual circuits integrated with uh, tourism and uh, it underscores the state's commitment to the balancing economic growth with environmental stewardship. A ropeway today, a roadmap for sustainable mountain tourism tomorrow. Thank you, Dr. Bana, for taking us on this insightful journey through innovation and faith. The Sonpraya Kedarnath Ropeway stands as a shining example of what India can achieve when devotion meets determination. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us on Bridging Heights. Namaste. Namaste.